Thank you and welcome to Twin Suns Tutorials. My name is Kevin Woodbury and today I'm going to be working within the Adobe CS6 suite. And I'm going to show you how to select an area of the image and you'll see right now there's marching ants around the bottom of the image. Um, that is called an, a selection. I'm going to show you how to select that and I'm also going to show you how then to edit it, in this case to take out some of the blue. So I'm going to start by coming over to the left side of the screen and the fourth item down in the toolbar, if I click on it, I get an option for Quick Selection Tool or Magic Wand Tool. Now in this case, I'm going to put my cursor on Quick Select so it's highlighted and let go. And notice my cursor has a plus in it. Now I'm going to increase the size of that cursor by using the right bracket key and that'll increase the cursor size. And that works for a lot of the tools within Photoshop. And I just want to make sure you can see the plus. But if I go to the top of the screen, there's a plus sign in this icon, but there's a minus sign in this one. So if I click on it, notice now my cursor has a minus in it. Minus will allow me to deselect. And I've left this initial area selected so that I can show you how this works. So if I click on this, Anything under my cursor, and I'm clicking, by the way, and holding it down and dragging to the right, and this deselects anything that's under my cursor. Now, there's a faster way to deselect if I'm going to do the whole thing, but for the moment, I'm just showing you this. So that's how deselect works. If I want to select, I go up onto the plus, and I'm going to reduce the size of my cursor using the left bracket key on my keyboard, because I want that to be smaller. And then I'm going to go to the water line, click on the left button of my mouse, hold down and drag. And as I drag across, notice that it is selecting the portions that I'm dragging under. Now it's taking me a while to reselect this because I had previously deselected it. So the system is questioning whether or not I want to redo the whole thing. Now you'll see in a minute. catches up to me and it does its thing. Now obviously that's not enough so I can actually hit the right bracket key, make that a little larger, click hold and drag over the rest of it and hopefully I'll gra grab all of it this time. And I have to go back and forth over it until everything is selected. Now sometimes it works very easily and sometimes you have to do this. But so it's not a definite that you're going to get the whole thing in the first pass. And I'm going to purposely go into the water a little bit because I want to show you how to quickly get to deselect. Okay, so the water has been selected. I didn't really want it to. If I hold down my option key on a Mac keyboard or an alt key on a PC keyboard, Notice it's changed to a negative sign. I don't have to go up here and do it. I can actually do it through the keyboard. So I'm holding down the Option or Alt key. I'm going to deselect that area because I didn't want the water. I just did it so I can show you how the deselect can be uh, chosen very quickly. Okay, and I just want to reselect a little bit more of this beach, so I'm going to hit the left bracket because I want it to be smaller now because I'm going to do some more fine selections. So I'm going to come up and just barely tap that line with the cursor. And notice the line moves as I kind of come across it. And one more time, I'm going to deselect the water by holding down the Alt or uh, Option key. And I'm going to just move that down just a little bit. So, all in all, this isn't a perfect selection. Um, in fact, I want to fix this. And I also want to fix down here. Okay, so now it's selected. Now, the second thing I want to do is come over to my adjustment layer palette. And within the adjustment palette, it's um, on the right side of the screen you'll see a, a number of different options within here. We're just going to focus on one for today. But before I select that, I want to show you that in the layer palette, there's only the background layer. This is the original image as it came into Photoshop. It has not been edited yet. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the Adjustment tab and we're going to select the second, uh, first item in the second row called U and Saturation. And I'm going to click on that. Notice what happens when I do to the layer palette. Notice that I now have a new layer and it shows me a white area and a black area within the mask of this, this uh, layer. And the mask has been created by the system because I had selected this first. So in that mask, the white area is what we're going to be able to edit. The black area cannot be edited because it wasn't selected. Notice when I clicked on the adjustment um, layer, I created this dialog box. And in the dialog box, I have a couple of options. I actually have some presets. So if I click on default, I have a bunch of different preset, uh, presets that I can select from. So say I want to make this sepia. I just come down to sepia, click on it, and notice how it's changed to the sepia color. Now in this case, that isn't what I was looking for. So I'm going to go back up to sepia and put it back to default, and it goes away. Next one down is, if I click on the word Master, you'll notice that there are a bunch of different colors underneath it. This allows me to selectively pick a color and not affect any of the other colors within that portion of the image. So if I wanted to just delete all of the blues, which is what I want to do, I'm going to select Blue, and then I'm going to come down to these sliders. Now the first one is U, and U is fairly straightforward, but if I click on the pointer, drag it to the left, notice what happens to the colors in the beach. They change from, from green and, and such to the blues. Now if I go to the right, I'm going to get purples and magentas. So I want to go back to zero, and notice as I'm dragging, by the way, the numbers right above it are changing. So I want to go back to zero, which is basically the blue that I started with. It isn't quite easy to get to the, uh, the zero um, so I'm going to come up to here and I'm going to click and drag over that. And by doing that, you'll see that the number minus 2 is highlighted. If I just type a 0, that puts me back at 0. It's a quicker way of doing it. Now in saturation, I'm going to actually desaturate. Again, all I'm doing is affecting the blues. So I want to desaturate by clicking on this pointer and dragging it to the left. Now if I drag it to the right, notice how blue that gets. Dragging it to the left desaturates. And I think that's probably a, a good, maybe a little less desaturation, maybe somewhere around there. I mean, this is, is subjective at this point. But for the point of uh, purpose of our demo, I think this is good. Now lightness and darkness, if you look at the bar here, you'll, you'll see which direction to go to get light or dark. If I want darkness, I go this way. If I want lightness, I go that way. Um, in this case, I do want lightness. Um, and I'm going to select about there, I think, because I want to be able to see that this has some browns in it. Um, and I think that's probably a, a good choice for the beach. Now, the second thing I'd like to do is I want to create a new layer for this top, and I want to saturate this a little bit. So if I go to the background layer and I click and drag my cursor up on the sky, now this is an easier selection because I hadn't previously deselected it, as we showed you when I first started this. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. It's, it's got the, uh, the line of the beach pretty well. And so what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new U and saturation layer. Now notice that I came down to the background layer to do this, and then I'm going to click on the U and saturation, and it creates a new layer. It's mostly white at this point, which means that the white area is what I'm going to be able to edit. The black area I cannot. And in this case, I want to increase the overall saturation of the image. So I'm just going to drag this to the right, and notice that the colors became a little more saturated. Um, I've got better yellows, better oranges, even the blues. The only problem is these mountains are blue and maybe you don't want them to be. So I'm going to come to my selection tool. First I'm going to come down to the background layer and click on it. Now I'm going to go with the selection tool and I'm going to come over the mountains. 
notice how easy that was. And in this case, I'm going to click again on you and saturation, but I want to show you a different tool within this. And that is this tool here with the finger pointing up and the left and right arrow key. It's right next to the word master. Notice though, when I click on this and come onto the picture, I now have a dropper. And what that dropper does is samples the color when I click with my mouse button and hold down the mouse button, it samples the color underneath the dropper. Notice that master will change when I do this. So I'm about to click on it, watch the word master. Notice that it changes to blue. So the system knows that what I want to change are the blues. And what I want to do is desaturate them a little bit. And I think that's good. Um, it gives me still a little blue cast, which it would naturally have, but not too blue. And so those are the changes to the picture. I'm, I'm still thinking that this perhaps might be a little bit too black and white almost. There's not a lot of color differentiation in, in here. And if you remember, when we desaturated this, we were up on this layer here. So if I click on this, now I can go back and I can increase the saturation and it's only going to be in that area. And I think that's a little bit better and I want to make it a little darker. So about there. And I think that's a little better. You still have lost your blues but you're getting some of the browns and the greens in now. So that's how you use the combination quick select tool and the combination U and saturation adjustment layer to make selective changes to the photograph. I hope that was helpful. Take care. This is Kevin Woodbury for Twin Sun Tutorials. Have a good day. Bye-bye.